In a place where mosquitoes are giants, cicadas invisible, and the ground is hungry, no step is safe. In this tiny corner, two neighboring ant colonies live close, maybe too close. One of the forest's giant ants has discovered a bit of sap, a sweet treasure these ants deeply value. But in this shared territory, no discovery stays secret for long. The neighboring colony has already noticed. The giant ant doesn't hesitate. She scares off the tiny Lassius and keeps eating. Once again, a Campanotus ant gets there first, discovering a new food source before the tiny Lassius. This time, it's a lynx spider. It seems today is a lucky day for their colony. Beyond sweet substances, these ants are often seen hunting. They're predators, consuming far more protein than most other species. The fearsome strength of just one of these ants becomes evident. She can drag the spider on her own, a feat completely beyond the reach of her tiny neighbors. She must act fast. One of the Lassius ants has already alerted the rest of her sisters, and now a legion of ants could be on the way, ready to take it from her. In this world, there are no rules. The Campa Notice makes a tremendous effort, lifting a spider vertically that could weigh up to 50 times her own body weight, a display of strength that defies all logic. Reinforcements have arrived, and they know they must act fast. The number of garden ants is growing quickly, and soon, they'll become a real problem. They can't afford to lose a catch like this. Their colony depends on them. Every second counts. Fresh patrols of garden ants are closing in from all directions, ready to intervene. As a curiosity, it's worth noting that these ants can travel over 100 meters in search of food and still find their way back to the nest. They exchange strategies and coordinate their efforts to speed up the mission. Today is a great day to celebrate in the forest giant's colony. They've secured a valuable catch and they did it together. But something terrible is about to happen, just beyond the edges of their territory. A young wasp nest waits for one of their sisters. She went out searching for food and hasn't returned for a while. The missing wasp has fallen to the powerful mandibles of two elite soldiers from the Camponotus colony. There's no use struggling. The ant has locked its jaws like a padlock, a skill unique to its kind, and it won't let go. And as if that weren't enough, a towering elite soldier stands guard, making sure there's no escape. The wasp's fate is already sealed. The largest ant seems overtaken by a surge of fury. She, too, has been affected. One of her legs is now out of action. Few know this, but the giant Campanota soldiers can live for several years, patrolling, defending, and remembering roots with a precision that rivals some mammals. Driven by fury, this veteran ant bites her own companion by mistake, but instantly realizes it and corrects her action. Both ants seem to have won, but a shadow watches them. Something terrible is about to happen. The garden ants have found them. This time, they're too far from the rest of the colony, a weakness the Laceus have noticed. The colossal Campanotus elite soldier starts to grow uneasy. Victory has turned into the worst nightmare for both ants. Soon there will be more, more, and many more. The veteran ant is truly alone, facing a legion that keeps growing. But despite the odds, she won't let the lashes take her prize. She will defend it to the very end. Soon, both are dragged and pushed by a wave of ants toward the entrance of the rival nest. The situation 
grows worse by the second. The wasp, along with the ant still clinging to her, takes the worst of it. The veteran does everything she can to push the ants away, using all her energy to avoid failing her mission, but it's all in vain. Dozens of tiny mandibles soon begin to climb over her, surrounding her entirely. Her powerful mandibles catch a few, but there are simply too many. It's time to abandon the mission, but it's already too late. The Lassius almost have her under control, and once they bring her down, they'll drag her into the depths of their nest, a place with no escape. She tries to escape, but the garden ants cling tightly to her legs. She breaks free from one, but in an instant, another dozen take its place. Before we continue, please consider subscribing and liking this video. This content takes me many hours to create, and I truly appreciate it. It seems that, without a doubt, the end has come for the veteran ant. But then, the unexpected happened. The Campanotus rises once more, stands tall and resists with a determination that defies all logic. She's a miniature colossus, ready to face it all. With a horde at her heels, the Campanotus retreats. Her only hope is to return to her nest. Though she managed to shake off the Lacia swarm, one still clings to her leg like a battle scar a living reminder of how close she came to the end. She must hurry. They're still searching for her, and if she stays still, it won't take long before they find her. To us, it's an extraordinary story, but for a soldier ant, this is just another day in her demanding routine. She's managed to completely lose the Lacius Legion, but her companion, and the wasp she was dragging were left behind. They're now about to cross the threshold into the ant's domain, a place no one ever returns from, a fate she herself narrowly escaped. Her Campanota sisters are near. She has finally made it back to the nest. There, many had already considered her lost. In this area, both species seem to coexist, keeping each other in check, each respecting the other's boundary. She made it just in time. The sun is about to set, and for a veteran worn out by the day, nightfall brings a new level of danger. All her companions have already retreated into the depths of the nest until the next day. It's been a long day of work. Today, we witnessed more than just a clash between species. We followed the odyssey of a soldier who faced the impossible and made it back to tell the tale.